Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Kevin Hart suing Tasha K. Now, Kevin Hart is suing Tasha K for blackmailing him. That is what he's alleging. But I believe that all of us, we're mature and I believe that we're smart and we know that Kevin Hart is telling a lie. Let me explain. When you look at Tasha K's history, she has never been the one who is about blackmailing an individual, right? Now, Kevin Hart knows that Tasha K owes Cardi B $4 million. Kevin Hart is trying to He's the one who is actually trying to blackmail Tasha K and it's not working. Because if you're going to file a lawsuit lying on someone saying that someone is blackmailing you, this person had tried to get $250,000 from you. Knowing that this person has always been an individual who walks the straight and narrow path in life, but because this guy Kevin Hart knows that Tasha K has some problems with money he thinks that Tasha K is just like any blogger out here who would do something has you know weak as that you know that blackmailing strategy is not for strong women like Tasha K it's for weak bitches and Tasha K ain't no weak bitch okay so that's how you know that this man is lying you know what he's using in his defense, in his head, he's saying, okay, she owes Kai to be $4 million. And if I try to lie on her, you know, to say that she tried to blackmail me, they're going to say, yes, it's true because she has money problems. But the reality is, Tasha K has always had money problems if you have been listening to her. And irrespective of the money problems that she has always had, she has never, ever taken that shortcut to financial freedom or success, even though she's in the position where she could have done so, right? Let's keep it real. Do you know what is happening here? Kevin Hyde is hella threatened because he initially reached out to Tasha K, right? Maybe him or his team. I believe this is how it goes, right? He reached out to her and this is how Kevin Hart's, you know, um, assistant is alleging. This is what um, Tasha K is also alleging based on my understanding. And I believe her because it makes sense. Kevin Hart's story does not make sense but he's going with the fact that because Tasha K owes two um four million dollars she's desperate and will do anything for money and not everyone is like that and I know Tasha K she is loud mouth yes but she's not that type of person right so what had happened based on what Tasha K has shared based on my understanding is that Kevin Hart and his team got wind of the fact that one of his former assistants, the name is Sheiks, did an interview with Tasha K, right? And Kevin Hart did not want his cheating allegations to get out there, his gambling addiction to get out there because people have been hearing about that a lot. And we're in the era of cancel culture, when a man has done a woman dirty, especially when he has done it repeatedly, you know, now more than ever, a man like that is getting canceled. So Kevin Hart is looking at everything like, oh, no, I can't afford for this to get out there. The people know me as a cheater already, and this is only going to make things worse. It may ruin deals. It may ruin my bag, right? Let me reach out to this woman and let's see if I can use my status and power to intimidate her not to release this interview, right? I believe in my soul this is how it went out, went down, right? 
reached out to her, saying to her, look, I'm asking you not to release this interview because I'm understanding that he did reach out to Tashiki asking her not to release the interview. And she was like, if you don't want me to release this interview, you're going to have to compensate me for this, for the money that I would have made on this interview because this is a good content. Content like these do well. These are the stories that people want to hear on YouTube and on my app. So if you don't want to put, if you don't want me to put out this story, you're going to have to compensate me for lost revenue. But he believed that, ain't no way a YouTuber is out here making 250K on a video. I can't believe it either, Kevin Hart. I can't believe it either. I need to get to that subscriber cone that Tasha K has over there because that is some good moolah, okay? That's some good money right there, right? So let's continue. In Kevin Hart's head, ain't no way he's going to pay a YouTuber. You know, people love to look down and like, and, and they point the finger down, their nose are turned up and their eyes are like rolling, looking like, like a YouTuber is nobody like a YouTuber, you know? So in Kevin Hart's head, hey, no way he's going to pay a, YouTube, a YouTuber 250K not to release the story. So being the actor, because you know that comedians are actor, right? Being the actor that he, he, he is, being the man with the money, the connection and the power that he is, knowing that um, Tasha K is vulnerable because she owes Cardi $4 million and she has been sued already. So, you know, in Kevin Hart's head, guess what? I'm going to sue this woman because this is Kevin Hart's reasoning now, right? She's trying to blackmail me. She, one of her staff, they're saying I need to give them 250 k for them not to release the interview. And he was like, I'm going to sue her because this former assistant of mine, Shakes, had signed a non-disclosure agreement. And as such, I'm going to send her cease and desist, right? So Kevin Hart sent Tasha K a cease and desist. She didn't need to cease nor desist because Tasha K wasn't breaking any agreement. And if there was an NDA sign... It was between Kevin Hart and the assistant. So Kevin Hart should have sent the assistant the cease and desist. Sending Tasha K a cease and desist would mean nothing because Tasha K hasn't done anything to him. The only thing Tasha K is doing is giving someone a platform to tell what they know. And Tasha K is going to ask question that she believes that her fans want to hear her asking. So that cease and desist wouldn't have really made any sense, right? So the cease and desist didn't work. Kevin Hart didn't get things his way. So he was like, let's sue her. You know, who you think the court is going to believe? A black woman who lost a case to another celebrity and cannot pay that celebrity $4 million and is now desperate. So Kevin Hart is saying, of course, the court is not going to believe Tasha K. They're going to believe she's desperate for money. They're going to believe that she definitely tried to blackmail me because she needs money more than anything. And she's trying to come up with that $4 million. So he went ahead and found the lawsuit against her. But what he's not paying attention to is the fact that Tasha K is not stupid. It's not as though she's stupid why she lost that lawsuit with Cardi B. It's just that how things are handled in court. I'm going to leave it for that because there are some things behind the scenes, honey, that I don't know if you guys have caught up to that was shared as it relates relates to some information in that lawsuit. But I'm not going to say what it is, right? But I'm going to say this. You know, Kevin Hart needs to understand that not because Tasha K have lost a lawsuit and is owing someone $4 million, it doesn't make her desperate. Tasha K has always had struggles with money. So you cannot use the excuse of she has problems with money. She'll, so she was trying to get money from me. 
that's not going to be good enough. You're going to have to prove the phone call, you know, the person's voice, tracking that phone call, right? So it's going to be truly interesting to see how Kevin Hart proves his case and if he's going to actually win because we know he's thinking that, you know, Tashke lost against Kyrie, so Tashke is going to lose against him because he has the money on and the power. But again, I'm going to say, I definitely believe that the only thing happened is that Tashke acts to be fairly compensated for not releasing the interview. And as such, that's definitely not blackmail. And there's nothing illegal about what Tasha K did, okay? But guys, I want to hear from you. Let me know what are your thoughts. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And see you guys later. Peace.